What's up, Drum Alert Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Today, we are going to be tackling the Philip DeFranco situation. It all started uh, quite a while ago, but yesterday there was a big development that SourceFed, a company that Philip DeFranco created and founded, was canceling. SourceFed, on their own channel, said this. We know that there have been a lot of rumors about the channel ending, and we wanted to address that and how they're not rumors and how that's real. <laughs> yeah, uh, the rumors being that SourceFed is canceled and it's coming to an end. We received the info last week that SourceFed, SourceFed Nerd, and people be like, we're all getting canceled. And there's a press release today. Now, I wasn't planning on actually uh, covering this story, but Scarce did such a butcher job yesterday. Uh, Scare said this. I know Keemstar is on Twitter saying that Philip DeFranco basically sold out and he sold source fed and stuff, but I doubt that's true. I don't think it's true. For fuck's sake, do some research. Just do a little research. Okay. Back in 2013, source fed was sold to Discovery. Philip DeFranco even confirming in 2013, Philip DeFranco sold his company to Discovery. Now, Philip DeFranco owned like a ton of YouTube channels, a ton of different shows that he created. And again, all sold to Discovery. This is confirmed by many, many different articles that anybody can research and find. Now, because it's well known that Philip DeFranco started SourceFed, after the YouTube initiative, YouTube basically gave Philip DeFranco a bunch of money and he invested that in creating SourceFed and other shows. Uh, and with that being canceled, people just uh, assumed that Philip DeFranco was canceling the show and they were giving him shit. This person said, thanks for ending SourceFed, you asshole. Philip DeFranco responded by saying, to Bon Jerton and other idiots tweeting me gems like this, I haven't made decisions regarding the source-fed nerd channels in years. And Philip DeFranco again confirming on his own YouTube channel today that he doesn't own source-fed, he's not making the decisions, he said this. And then one of the most requested stories today, let's talk about SourceFed. If you didn't see last night, the YouTube channel SourceFed announced that SourceFed, SourceFed Nerd, and the channel People Be Like are being canceled. Now, if you're new here and you're wondering why people are asking me this question, it's because over five plus years ago, I created SourceFed and then later SourceFed Nerd. But a big thing to note moving forward, and I've said this on other occasions, when people ask me about the content of their videos or decisions or whatever, I have not been involved in nor made choices on those channels for the longest time. And that was always kind of the intent. Now, for you long Long-timers who know the, what the original content was and what it is now, you know that it's a, like it's pretty much a completely different channel. Both in content and the people running it. Like I hand-selected the first six hosts for those channels, but the change was also kind of the point of the experiment. From the beginning, my goal with SourceFed was to have whoever was producing and hosting that show drive that show. And of course, it's going to change over time. Initially, it was myself and a producer, then the host. Then, because the funding for the YouTube channels ran out, and I was paying for the channels out of my own pocket, and it was burning a hole. It was not profitable at that time. I talked to and sold a bunch of channels to Discovery Digital networks and revision three that relationship continued for a while i became less involved until i was completely not involved now it's 2017 the situation has changed further there was a merger of a bunch of different channels and networks into a thing called group nine and group nine is now who owns and makes decisions regarding those properties so those asking phil why did you shut down SourceFed? i didn't i didn't make that decision also in connection to this there was a tube filter article that talked about this that said that the reason that i took time off was to deal with this that's not the case because i haven't had input on that channel in a very long time my time off last week had everything to do with the few of my show, my career, and my channel. Now that last part is worrisome. Him saying that he's worried about his own channel, you know, the Philip DeFranco show, because I don't believe that Philip DeFranco actually owns his own channel. I believe that was also sold to Discovery from the Philip DeFranco wiki. In May of 2013, the Philip DeFranco show, as well as DeFranco's other assets were acquired by Revisions 3, a network which Philip DeFranco was signed under. Again, Revisions 3 is owned by Discovery, okay? So now we're all on the same page. Philip DeFranco sold all of his YouTube channels, all of his assets uh, online here on YouTube to Discovery. And Discovery, or Revisions 3, has been uh, making some moves recently. Discovery announced a $100 million investment and strategy partnership with a newly formed digital content holding company, Group 9 Media. A new media company consists of Thrillist Media Group, 
Now this media, the Dodo and Discovery's digital network seeker, along with its production studio, SourceFed Studios. Now listen, there isn't that many uh, popular sources of news leaning towards the left here on YouTube. The right has pretty much been controlling everything. So it looks like Discovery is coming in to give a nice, good left-leaning agenda, especially with one of these companies known as Now This. Because there was a YouTube channel that did like science news and stuff like that uh, with 1.4 million subscribers that overnight turned into Now This, a very uh, left-wing uh, news outlet. And fans are extremely pissed off, as you can see the dislike bar. Philip DeFranco was recently on the H3H3 podcast, and towards the end of the podcast, he said this. Roll it. This one thing. Oh, yeah. If, if for some reason, I don't know where you would put this. If what? for some reason, I am no longer on my channel uh, three months into next year, uh, and let's say Jennifer Omar. April of next year. If I'm if I'm not able to post on my channel, I've disappeared from the internet. Can I can I count on a shout out from you guys? What does that mean? What are you what foreboding? Are you what the hell do you have in your <laughs> back pocket? Say. That's where I gotta leave. Them. I mean, oh yeah, the God. short answer is yes, but what the hell are you planning, <laughs> dude? Oh, I'm not planning anything. I'm just some, expect deal, some crazy deal. shit from Philip DeFranco getting his channel shut down. So what is going on here? Well, if you haven't figured it out, uh, Discovery pretty much owns uh, the Philip DeFranco show. And they've been making some moves, canceling SourceFed, uh, recently changing the Science Channel into a left-wing media channel. And I'm only assuming here, but since the uh, Philip DeFranco show is not really left-leaning, I believe they might be looking to kick Philip DeFranco off his own show after a, an assumed five-year contract ends in early 2018. Also in the news, today uh, Microsoft went down, and I'm not just talking about Xbox Live, like everything Microsoft went down, Skype, and, and no one really knows why. Microsoft account is down worldwide, affecting Outlook, Windows stores, OneDrive, I mean pretty much everything that is Microsoft. Xbox Live came out and said, we are aware of some reports of trouble logging into Xbox Live. We are working hard to get things resolved. Stay tuned. Microsoft uh, products were just down for like three hours straight. Uh, still not sure why. Also in the news, imagine sending someone on Twitter a GIF, right? A GIF, and then be faced with criminal charges and a giant lawsuit. This story is starting from a reporter known as Kurt uh, Eichenwald. I'm probably butchering his name. Apparently, he has epilepsy, and he has the type of epilepsy, if he sees flashing light, he has a seizure. An article from Motherboard came out today. A court will decide if a GIF can be considered a deadly weapon. Apparently, one user sent this reporter a GIF that like flashed light real fast, and he had a seizure. This happened of December of 2016. His wife got on the account and responded to the person by saying, this is his wife, you caused a seizure, I have your information, and have called the police to report assault. Apparently the person is arrested and uh, it's gonna be interesting how this all turns out. Also in the news, uh, I used to love Vice News. I, I absolutely used to love them. But I, I don't know what's going on with Vice News. Things are, are changing quickly, and, uh, well, they're getting a lot of stuff wrong. Vice said in an article a few days ago saying, The most famous instance of a far-right views being disseminated on YouTube is PewDiePie, the site's biggest star, commanding an audience of literally millions of impressionable teenage boys who, for some reason, want to watch him play computer games. He was dropped by Disney after it emerged that his videos included anti-Semitic jokes and Nazi imagery. Now, we responded to Vice by saying, laughing my fucking ass off, Vice, so stupid. How was PewDiePie's jokes considered right-wing? They were jokes, not a political statement. But Vice wasn't done there. They came out with another article today trying to make PewDiePie look bad. And, well, PewDiePie... Fired back. The article said YouTubers like PewDiePie and JonTron aren't affected by YouTube's new restricted mode. PewDiePie responded by saying journalism as a joke and then showed that his whole channel is not actually showing in restricted mode. Shane Smith, if you see this, please fire these fucking people. I used to love Vice News, but like what? How do you fuck up this bad? Like within the span of 48 hours. 
And now for our final story. I think I had a little bit of a voice crack in there. Now for our final story uh, coming from Eugenia Cooney. Uh, a lot of people have made videos uh, saying that she's anorexic and that she might die. And those videos are now demonetized throughout all of YouTube. She tweeted out, so I guess now any video mentioning me is being demonetized. Not sure if it's part of what's been going on with YouTube or what. Re responded by saying confirmed, showing that our video talking about that situation was in fact demonetized. Now, am I upset about this? No, I, I, I actually think that YouTube's doing the right thing here because there were a lot of YouTubers that seemed like they were bullying and harassing Eugenia Cooney. One of those was probably Onision, who made over 20 videos talking about Eugenia Cooney. And some of these videos have like over 3 million views. So on the upside of things, uh, Mr. Onision has lost a ton of money. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today. Um, but uh, I, I just got to talk about something real quick. Um, Stuff is is changing behind the scenes with Drum Alert. I know this sounds exactly like the Philip DeFranco thing, um, and it's somewhat similar, but um, we might be moving Drum Alert to another channel. This is in 100%. This is a possibility, and I want to let you guys know about it now. If we do move, this will be the channel, so I'm asking you to please click here and subscribe. The, also, the link to that channel is going to be in the description. Don't unsub from this channel because we don't know 100% if we are moving, but if we do move, I don't want you, I don't want you to not know about it, right? So I'm gonna start telling people now about this. And when you sub to this channel, this new Jerome Alert channel, make sure you have notifications on, okay? So when you sub, make sure you click on that little bell so you get the notifications. Um I can't really say much more about it uh, until um, it's okay for me to say more about it. And I don't even know if we are making this move. And I'm sorry for the confusion. I know there's going to be a lot of conspiracies and stuff out there, but I, I, I can say what I can say. And if I can't say it, I can't say it. So that is it, guys. If you love Drum Alert, make sure you slap a like on this video. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support that you've given the channel throughout the years. Uh, that's it. I'm just rambling on. We'll see you guys tomorrow.